Now, as marketers online, we are always having to use video to promote our business, but video is expensive. So if you're going to use like stock footage, for example, in some of your social media posts or in any of your promotional videos, it's going to cost you. Looking here at Shutterstock, one of the main ones, you can see that just five downloads a month, that's five videos that you find on their site, which may not be ideal. Um, is £79 a month. So, uh, you know, about $100 a month, basically. And that's just for five. So with all of these new AI video generators coming out, maybe it's time to start looking at that as an option, a much better option to create perfectly customized videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you this software that I found called polo.ai. There's a link underneath the video if you want to go and check it out. You can uh, try it out for free, in fact. And um, you've got the choice of doing a couple of things with this. You can create videos of your choice with just a prompt, literally just saying, you know, what you would like, and then it will make it for you like magic. Uh, this is how far we've come now with AI. It is crazy. You can also um, choose the aspect ratio. So if you're doing reels and things like that, TikToks, then this aspect ratio 916 is perfect for you. Instagram is just one one, so a square basically, and then the standard 16 by nine wide screen. And uh, so all you do is basically put your prompt in right here, and then just go ahead and and you can choose the camera control there as well. So what kind of movement you want, as it says there, specify how you want the camera to be moved in the generated um, thing. So you might want to go like vertical tilt or you might want to go zoom, you know, coming on into whatever it is you're doing. In fact, I'm going to use that one and then we'll try it out. But I am going to do a prompt. It's coming up to Halloween at the time of doing this video. So I'm going to uh, generate a prompt here now that will create a video of some children going uh, trick or treating. So let's do that right now. Create a video of a group of children going door to door, doing trick or treat at Halloween. There we go. So there's my prompt. And I'm just going to test this out because it says here, generate with AI. I'll keep mine just in case. Uh, so all, all I'll do is I'll put in what I did. Let's see if it creates like an even better prompt. It probably does. Uh, here we go. So this is, uh, yeah, look at this. A group of children dressed in colorful costumes are joyfully knocking on doors collecting candies and sharing laughs on Halloween night. That is a bit better than mine, isn't it? So it seems that by using the generate with AI, you can go and put in a fairly simple prompt and it will make it into a much better, more descriptive prompt. So I'm going to uh, use that one because I really like it. So we'll we'll copy it again just in case. Click confirm. And there we go. It's put it in there. So I'm happy with that. That's great. Next up, I'm going to go for professional mode. So you might not be able to do this on the free version, but uh, the cost of the software is minimal anyway. And I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. But I'm going to go with this professional mode, higher, higher quality video. And then also it does take a little bit more time to create. So I'll pause the video when I do it. And, and let's go for 16 by 9 like that. And then we'll, we'll go with the prompt strength here. We're going to go in the middle. So it's basically like how much you want it to stick to exactly what you said versus be a little bit more creative by itself. And then we can choose the length of the uh, video, five seconds or 10 seconds at the moment. I'm sure that will get longer in time. And then, as I said, I have chosen, uh, oh, it says here, you can't enable camera control if you've selected professional mode. So there you go. You can only do that um, if it's not in professional mode. We don't need to add a negative prompt, I don't think. But if I wanted to, I could put uh, anything in there to make sure that it is not in the video. Uh, for example, I could put like, make sure there's no trees in this video or something silly like that. And then it tells you at the bottom how many credits are required to do this. So 40 credits uh, in professional mode to make this one video. So not a lot. And, and in fact, if you made it on normal, it would be even less. So we'll talk about all that later. Let's press the magic button. And then when you click create, uh, as if uh, literally by magic, it now will go on and create your video. Looks like it's going to take between two and five minutes, something like that. And uh, if you can surf away from this screen, it will still get on and do it anyway. So that's always good. All right, let's pause the video and come back when it's done. And there we go. Our little Halloween trick or treat video is there 
right in front of us. And I actually think that looks really, really cool. You know, you would no way really know that that's AI generated unless you were staring at every little bit of it and you maybe could pick up the odd thing. You know, just looking at it like that, I think it looks fantastic. And obviously you can cut it. You don't have to use the whole thing. And the prompt, again, just for clarity there, was a group of children dressed in colourful costumes, which they definitely are, uh, knocking on doors. They're literally about to go up to a, a door, it seems. And then um, they're sharing laughs on Halloween night. So, and again, they all look pretty happy to me as well. So uh, that is a pretty good first attempt, I think. Now, what would be interesting um, is if we change that prompt a little bit now, I'm going to change it to 916. And let's change it up now to something a little bit more um, different. And we'll do it in that different aspect ratio. So one girl dressed up in Halloween costume looking at camera. Smiling. There you go. Let's change it up a little bit here. We'll just click continue and then... Um, we're off there we go click continue and now um we will go again and just click create and let's pause the video and come back and see what that does and there we go look at that that is really impressive so the prompt was again a girl in a creative halloween costume smiles confidently at the camera which i think you'll agree that is exactly what we got there and I can't see anything wrong whatsoever. It looks like we've got like a lit up pumpkin in the background there. You know, she's got like little devil horny things on. And, um, you know, she's in a bright, colorful dress, all dressed up. And her face and everything, it's all its all perfect, really. So that, that's a really great bit of content that was created in seconds by this. Again, there's a link underneath this video if you want to try this out. And you can use that for social media, TikToks, whatever you want to try and promote your business. Obviously, you can put captions on there, music. But you've now got the raw footage. I mean, back in the day, imagine, I mean, back in the day, like two years ago at the very most now, if you wanted that, you either buy it stock footage or you hire a model yourself to go and do it. And that means you need a camera crew, you know, you need all these different things that cost a fortune to just make that tiny little clip that you see there. So the future, without a doubt, is going to be AI, um, you know, image and video generation here. There's no two ways about that. And again, we could have made it longer. We could have done 10 seconds as well. And then if we change it to standard mode, we're able to go and uh, control the camera movement and do some other little effects like that. But um, there you go. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. That is an impressive little video right there. Now, the other thing this software can do is image to video. So this one's so useful. Imagine if you've got some great marketing pictures, just photographs of your product or a model that you were using for a shoot. And now you want to inject some life into it to get more attention, for example, on social media. So I'm going to go and grab a photo here of my family at Madame Two Swords in London. London just for the crack and this is a picture of uh, of them with Boris Johnson the uh, previous prime minister of England which should be pretty interesting in fact let me uh, let me just try and zoom in on that for you there you go you can just see it there look there so there's Boris outside number 10 Downing Street and obviously that is a dummy a wax work as it's Madame Two Swords but I thought it'd be quite fun to bring that one to life so with this prompt then I'll say something like a group of people all having fun together posing for a photograph there we are and I'm going to go pro mode again and we're, we're, I'm going to slide it a little bit to the left this time uh, to be more creative rather than me sort of dictating everything I don't think we need to do any negative prompts with this again and we could add an end frame now this is really good if you're like looping the video so if we made the very start frame the same as um, the the end there, then it just kind of keeps going round like this and it looks really cool on social media. So now all I need to do is press create and off it will go and get that done. So I will pause the video and again, we'll come back and see how well it did with that one. Now, just before I show you the video, here's how the photo looked a little bit better close up. And now let's just go and take a little look and see what it's managed to do. And there you go, look at that. <laughs> 
exactly following the prompt. A group of people all having fun together posing for a photograph. And that looks like, you know, so real now, it's crazy. And if you want to, you can add the end frame, which could be the start, um, you know, exactly the same as the start. So it kind of loops around like this. But I think that is fantastic. Now, how do you actually get it? You just click on the three dots there, click download, and then you can download it with the watermark or without if you go onto one of the paid plans. And you can share it as well, like straight to X or Facebook, or just copy a link for someone to view it in the video player. But that that is so good. Overall, I'd say that pretty much fit my brief of uh, a, a group of people having fun together. So great bit of kit. You can have a lot of fun and do some really useful stuff with this software. There's a link underneath the video pricing wise. Now, this video that we just created, I think use 40 credits. Now look at this with the plus plan, for example, if you get it on a yearly, you get 800 credits. So in theory, you can create 20 videos. Now you compare that to actually going and buying the footage. Well, if you're going to do 20 videos uh, here a month with Shutterstock, it's going to cost you $159. So basically $200 per month versus uh, $25 a month with uh, using Polo.ai as um, the generator for your videos. And of course, they'd be tailored to exactly the way uh, that you want them, which you, you can't do with stock footage. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Let me know what kind of videos you plan to create using AI, and I'll see you in the next video.